Gracias. So I've dragged a TV into the middle of the woods um, because we're shooting a image called There Is No Place, which is part of my new series. Um, so with this one, I want to create kind of a unsettling vibe with a contrast between something electrical, man-made, and a kind of natural environment. Um, and obviously the impossibility that a TV is working just in the middle of the woods. Um, so it's quite like a liminal feeling, so like a space that you've just kind of moved through. Um, so I want to create kind of an unsettling vibe. Um, I've got a little light here, so the TV is going to be just projecting like static and stuff. So the person in the image will be seeing something that the audience isn't in the TV. So it's kind of a bit spooky, but that's kind of my thing. <laughs> so I've connected my phone to the camera so I can see what I'm doing. Uh, which is very helpful when shooting self-portraits. Um, I used to use a little wireless trigger, um, but this way I can actually see what's going on and saves me running back and forth. Okay. manual and then just expand my frame by tilting it. Just gives me the option to make it a square image if I need to or adjust the crop corner that I have. So you four corners and then corners at the top which then gives you options. Which we like. Fantastic. I currently have a Sony A7R 3 um, which I've just paid off, so it's officially mine now. Um, the lens I'm using is basically the same lens I use for everything, because um, it's just easier. So I've got a Sigma 18 to 250 millimeters, which is really good for self-portraits, because it means I can just kind of zoom in and out as and when and not have to worry. Um, and when you're working by yourself, it's, it's just easier to have something that covers everything, because you're doing literally everything yourself. <laughs> There's a lot of running back and forth. I just like to make my life as easy as possible. This is really good particularly in terms of focusing um, because it focuses on the eye that's closest to the camera um, so when I'm shooting with models it's a lot easier because it'll just get them straight away and when I'm doing self-portraits it's, it's a lifesaver um, and this one I can connect to my phone which oh my god improved my life so much <laughs> with my old Canon I had my little trigger remote and it was a lot of like doing a bunch of photos running back to check they're okay shifting everything whereas here I can kind of see what's happening on my phone take the photo, adjust kind of in real time, and then it, it saves me so much time and effort. Very excited by the lighting. I deliberately went for kind of early morning. I don't want the sun to be too high in the sky, because we're going for kind of an ambient lighting with it kind of highlighting the moss. Still gives a kind of spooky, misty vibe, but still a little bit of sun coming through. So that was really cool. Um, so now I just have to take it home, Photoshop the TV so it looks like it's turned on, do a bit of color grading, job done.